Harry McCleary and Zachary Quack by Lindley Dodd. It was drowsily warm with dozens of bees lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McCleary decided to choose a space in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back when pittery-pattery, skittery-scattery-zip, round the corner came Zachary Quack, who wanted to frolic and footle and play, but Harry McCleary skedaddled away. Over the lawn and asparagus bed went Harry McCleary to hide in the shed. He lurked in the shadows all dusty and black, but pittery-pattery, skittery-scattery-zip, round the corner came Zachary Quack. Out of the garden and into the trees jumped Harry McCleary with springs in his knees. He hid in the grass at the side of the track, but pittery-pattery, skittery-scattery-zip, round the corner came Zachary Quack. Down to the river, through willow and reed, raced Harry McCleary at double the speed. Into the water he flew with a smack, but pittery-pattery, skittery-scattery-zip, round the corner came Zachary Quack, who dizzily dived in the craziest way, whirling and swirling in showers of spray. Harry McCleary was off in a flash, a flurry of bubbles, a dog paddle splash. He swam to the side and floundered about. He tried and he tried, but he couldn't climb out. Scrabbling upwards and slithering back when... Pittery-pattery, skittery-scattery-zip, through the water came Zachary Quack, who sped round a corner and, showing the way, led Harry McCleary up, up and away. Then, soggy and shivering, back up the track, went Harry McCleary with Zachary Quack. It was drowsily warm with dozens of bees, lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McCleary decided to choose a place in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back, tucked up together with Zachary Quack.